molecular profiling for cancer treatment decision making. While cancers have traditionally been identified and treated based upon their tissue of origin, advances in our understanding of tumor biology suggest that many cancers can be treated based on their actionable mutations. Indeed, we're finding that a tumor's molecular profile may indicate how or if the tumor will respond to specific treatments. But too often, molecular profiling is done too late in the game when patients don't have a chance to use the results. For rare cancers, especially those with limited treatment options and poor prognoses, doing profiling early may influence the choice of first and second line treatments. Actionable mutations may open the door to targeted therapies, immunotherapies, or clinical trials for which a patient might not otherwise qualify. Profiling can be performed on archived samples without the need for a new biopsy. So think about profiling in advance to ensure enough tissue is taken during the diagnostic biopsy. Of course, molecular profiles only give us a snapshot of a tumor. Over time, cancers may evolve and develop new mutations in response to treatment. Repeat profiling upon recurrence or progression of disease can sometimes yield new targets. Although molecular profiling is not yet the standard of care for most cancers, making it part of your standard protocol may open the door to new effective treatments for your patients. Cholangiocarcinoma is a rare and aggressive cancer of the bile duct with few treatment options. However, broad sequencing efforts have shown that more than 50% of patients with cholangiocarcinoma have at least one targetable mutation. This could provide additional personalized treatment options, including access to clinical trials that may give these patients the chance to live longer and with a better quality of life. Actionable signatures include IDH1 mutations, FGFR fusions and mutations, HER2 amplification and mutations, BRAF mutations, PIK3CA mutations, and microsatellite instability. Identification of these signatures in cholangiocarcinoma has stimulated both scientific and pharmaceutical interest in this disease. There are now several hundred trials on clinicaltrials.gov in which CCA patients are eligible to participate. Given the poor prognosis for patients treated according to standard protocol and the high frequency of actionable targets, the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation encourages immediate profiling for all patients with cholangiocarcinoma. Repeat profiling with any subsequent biopsies may occasionally reveal a new targetable mutation that may provide new hope for these patients. Learn more at mutationsmatter.org.